here's how I look after my skin. Hello everybody, I am back. I thought my first YouTube tutorial since having baby honor should be about skincare. You guys have asked lots of questions about my skincare routine. And also now that I am a mum, a new mum, she's only not even six weeks old, so I'm not getting much sleep. My skin needs care more than ever. Um, and I think everyone can uh, relate to that whether you're a mum or not. You might be traveling a lot, working hard. Uh, we often neglect our skin. So I'm gonna show you my tips and tricks and my favorite products for the routine that I do. Um, some of these products I use every day and some every few days, depends on what they recommend. So I'm gonna kick off with a really awesome product called uh, Flash Rinse One Minute Facial. It's by Ren which I love. Now this actually is um, many things in one. It's an exfoliator, it's got vitamin C in it, and vitamin C is actually really good for the production of collagen. Um, as we get older, we produce less collagen, and collagen is what makes our skin look really young and gets rid of wrinkles. It also um, combats free radicals, which are basically all the rubbish and pollution that's in the air that affects your skin in a bad way. So this, ha this helps to balance that out and get rid of it. So it kind of looks like a bit of a yellow pooey paste, let's say. So I spent all day looking at baby poo, it's about the same color, um, you're welcome. And so you just massage this into the skin. It also exfoliates, so you're getting rid of all the old dead skin cells. It might tingle a little bit um, when you activate the vitamin C. How do you activate it? Get a little pot of water Dip your fingers in. I've got some product on this. Dip your fingers into it, and the water actually activates the vitamin C. So you want to keep massaging it, which is a tip I got from a facialist ages ago. Is just keep massaging the skin, no matter what the product is, because it helps it sink in better, and it helps stimulate blood flow. So I can feel the texture of it changing, actually. And then go and rinse off, so I'll be right back. So that's rinsed off and dried, and I can already feel a huge difference in the texture of my skin. It feels really soft, um, no bumps, no dry skin, and it, actually that's amazing. It's lots of it's very exfoliated, which is nice. And this can make your skin a little bit red, um, just because it is an active ingredient, um, but it should you know, calm down and not feel like it's stinging or anything. Um, so that is every three or four days that I use. Every three or four days, but alternating, so I wouldn't normally use these back to back, I will do a mask. And often I'll just throw a mask on in the shower because again, I don't have that much time anymore with a newborn. Um, but I love Charlotte Tilbury's Goddess Skin Mask. It's a clay mask, so it's very detoxifying um, and it can firm up your skin. Apply quite a thick layer over the face. And with clay masks, you want them to stay on a little bit longer until they actually dry out so that you know the skin has absorbed all the goodness inside it. And when I've come off a plane, my skin's particularly dry, the clay will go dry really fast and then you know that your skin's quite dehydrated, so you need to drink more. So if I'm in the shower, then I'll put this on, leave it for 10 to 15 minutes, as long as I can really. I'll get out the shower, um, put on all my body moisturizer and leave this on for as long as possible. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys another of my secret tricks. This is really good if you're exhausted and your eyes, like me, you get either bags or circles. Shantakai um, does a gold energizing eye recovery mask. So you can only use them once. They're really good. There it is, like a little slippery fish. And you just put them quite close to your under eye. And they should stick and stay on their own. Okay. And 
then leave it for 10-15 minutes. Okay guys, so now I've rinsed off that mask. I um, also got it all over my t-shirt, which isn't that cute. So note to self, don't wear your favorite t-shirt when you're doing this. Um, next, I'm going to apply, um, this is Skin Ink, which was one of my favorite brands. It's from Singapore, and actually when we were in Singapore, I dragged Mackenzie for about an hour walking in the heat to try and find their store, um, which was then closed. But anyway, they make amazing, amazing products. And this is called Pure Recovery Dew. And the reason I like it is because it's a mix between a serum and a moisturizer and a leave-on mask. Um, it has got hyaluronic acid in it, which is a tongue twister, but um, that is actually something that um, holds water. So it's extremely hydrating and plumping for your skin. I put a fair amount of this on every morning under my sunscreen and then again at night underneath my um, night cream. So it feels very, very lightweight, which I like. You barely know that you've got it on. And always on the neck too. If you're in your towel when you do this, put it on your chest too, because I think treating all those areas, neck and chest, just like the face, um, are really important. Okay. When you've done that and the skin is uh, moist, you want to grab my favorite new contraption. So you might have heard of jade rollers before and the new trend is for rose quartz rollers. Now this is by my friend Angela Kalia, who you've probably seen on my Insta stories. She gives me facials a lot and has an amazing range of products. Um, and so she gave me one of these the other day and it's really nice. You keep it in the fridge or the freezer. It stays, even if you don't keep it in the fridge, it stays cool anyway. And you just start rolling it very, very gently, softer than you think. You don't have to apply any pressure um, because the gentler you are, the more lymphatic drainage you'll get. If you've ever had a lymphatic drainage massage on your back, you'll know it's really, really light. Um, and that helps to reduce puffiness, it uh, stimulates circulation, so it will get rid of blemishes and help with um, under eye circles. And it's just generally really good for the skin. Rose quartz itself as a stone um, is very, very relaxing in terms of um, its sort of spiritual properties. So I think that it looks pretty, does a lot, nourishes you inside and out. So I kind of go from the inside out and just go around the face a couple of times like that. I don't know if you can see a difference, but I do definitely feel more awake doing this. That's another benefit of it. And if you have two, like when Angela does it, she will use two and do them at the same time, which is a really nice massage technique. You can do that for as long as you want, but that is amazing. Okay, next up, Living in LA, I always wear sunscreen, but even when I'm in the UK and it's cloudy, I still do because you need to protect your skin and nobody wants leather skin. So this is one of my favorites. It's actually SPF 50, and I have been told by uh, skincare experts that anything less than 50 isn't really worth putting on. So keep it high, and um, Lancome does this nice one. I also like the fact that it's a small bottle because Products do have a shelf life, and I think if anything uh, feels like it's a bit old in your cupboard, chances are it should be thrown out. So smaller bottles, you will actually finish them. Um, I put on like, I don't know, a quarter size, and just rub that in. The higher the SPF, yes, it's often going to be a little bit white on your skin, and it can leave that kind of white glow, but if it's rubbed in properly, and especially if you're going to wear any makeup over the top, you won't see that anyway. And then, last but not least, actually second to last, I lie, on my skincare routine, is actually uh, Elemis, and this is a uh, eye balm. It's an illuminating eye balm. And it's, it's a mix between skincare and makeup, so I really like it because it's actually uh, flesh coloured. So my problem area is under my eyes. I get really dark circles, especially at the moment with no sleep. So a tiny dollop of that, like a, less than a pea size. And I just put it on under my eyes. And because it's not strictly makeup, it doesn't clog the pores, but it does make me look a little bit more bright eyed. So I rub that in. It reflects the light. So 
a little bit around the nose sometimes as well if, you, if I've got redness. And there we go. I haven't got a scrap of makeup on, but this is how if I'm staying home all day or I just can't be bothered and I want to wear giant shades, I would prep my skin. And then last but not least, uh, Caudalie, which is a French brand that I love. Um, they make this beauty elixir. Now, when I worked at Vogue a good 10 years ago in the UK, um, all the models used to use this backstage at Fashion Week to kind of spritz up and keep their face hydrated. So it's come a long way. They've updated the product and it's perfect size for putting in your handbag. So a few spritzes of that. So that is my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the products will be linked to below so you can buy them if you feel like trying them out. And um, as always, Give me your comments below and let me know what you'd like to see next. I'm thinking Mackenzie does my makeup. What do you reckon? Let me know below. Mm -hmm.